Hi guys, welcome back to Fanonai. Good to have you back with us again. This video has been recorded over countless days and weeks and it's a look at our first sort of foray into a little bit of precision farming. The fitting GPS to the tractor. Come with us, you can see how it goes. Okay, so this is the box that's arrived today. Uh, it's come through from a company called Patchwork Technology. Um, it, it actually came through yesterday, um, but I wanted to save it till today so I could open it up with you guys and we could have a look at what's in it together. We ordered this yesterday morning at around about half past ten, and it was here by half past two in the afternoon. Um, so I can't complain at that at all. They're, um, they're a local company, they're not very far away from us, just down in Usk. Um, but it's a GPS system for the tractor. Uh, it's called the Black Box Air. Um, and I thought we could open it up and, and have a little look at what's in here. A monitor. There's the, I assume that's the GPS unit itself. Yeah, so that looks like that's the GPS unit. That's the plug for the tractor. Instruction booklet. That will be the receiver, presumably, the GPS receiver. Uh, all good old fashioned suction mount, cables, uh, and some Velcro. Uh, so, right, I'm going to have a quick look through the instruction book and we'll. Um, We'll have a look at how it goes into the tractor in a minute. Yeah, so this is the tractor that the GPS is getting fitted on. Um, it's our Lamborghini R6.100. It's, it's the only tractor we've got on the farm. It does everything. We run our baler with it. We run our post knocker with it. We will be running the muck spreader with it. It's just a real good general purpose tractor, really. It's not the biggest tractor in the world, which is handy for us because we can get in and out the shed with it. But it's strong enough that it can do everything we need it to. It's taking, uh, we're just filling it up with water now, ready to take water out to the cows because they're in a field at the moment that doesn't have mains water in it. I think what we'll do is we'll sort of see whether we can start getting some bits plugged in and see whether we can get it to power up and then we'll uh, we'll work out what we're doing from there then. This is the tractor roof. I'm trying to balance on the on the front loader. So apparently it needs to be mounted centrally widthwise on the roof. So I'm thinking if we go there, that's in line with this centre bolt or centre catch rather on the sunroof. There's a magnet on the bottom of here. So that's that's the antenna. We'll whiz down now and um, see if we can follow that wire around. Try and keep it nice and neat, and we'll uh, we'll bring that round and in, into the back of the tractor now. So we've got the we've got the antenna mounted on the roof. So I, th I think we'll probably go in, as I say, and, and just take it down the inside of the window from the top, and then we'll plug it in. Oh, that's it, it's plugged in. Mount to the windscreen using supplied suction mount and arm. Now this bit's, I think, going to be the challenge because I don't get in and out of this tractor the way that most people get in and out of their tractors. So for, in a normal, tra well, in, under normal circumstances, you could have this in here now and then you could run your cable around here along that door handle even you could even go yeah so it could go along that door handle and then you could mount your screen here or wherever because most people use that door to get in and out of their tractors now when we first got the tractor we had a problem with this door and it wouldn't open and shut properly and because of that because we had a problem with the catch on it I used this door to get in and out of. And then when flying Bob are with me, that's Fly's seat, and that's where Bob sits. So I've always just carried on getting in and out of this side, but it does mean now that we've got to work out where this cable can go so that I can still get in and out of this side. Not be beyond the wit of man, surely. Just need to work out a route round with the cable, really. So it needs to either go up round the top of the door, I guess, or go somehow down and through and up that pillar. Uh, so we'll see how long the cable is now and we'll work out which way is going to work best for it. Right, so I think the best way is if the cable comes round here and down, goes in here where the loader cables go, under the mat, and we'll bring it up here up here 
Oh, we could probably get around the back of that, but I don't know if it's really worth messing about with. We'll perhaps, perhaps put it to here and then have the screen here-ish somewhere. Why is that a bit fairly central, really? Perhaps, yeah, perhaps sort of there-ish. Uh, I think that's going to be the plan. Because the, the cable's not long enough to go around the top. So we'll go and grab the little star tools, loosen that off and just see if... Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can just loosen that and we should be able to just lift the corner of the mat here. If it's not, this might turn into a uh, how to rebuild the cabby attractor video. <laughs> okay, so got the wire coming in that side, down under the floor, comes up that side. And we're up and running. I think we've got to set up the field, set it up in the menu and then do a lap around the outside first and that, that tells it where we are. I think we've got everything set up now. We're back in the secret field. So what, what we've done, we've already set the boundary up in here. I'm going to redo it because the antenna moved when we've set it last time and I'm not sure where it, at, at what point it moved. When I got back into the yard, the antenna had come off the roof and was stuck on the three-point linkage on the back of the tractor. I'm just gonna shut this back so it was a little bit quieter in here. Uh, yeah, and it was stuck to the three-point linkage on the back of the tractor. It's magnetic, so um, it, you know, it had just stuck on there. I don't know at what point it came off. It may, it may have come off after we came out of here, so I'm just gonna try and sort of keep a bit of an eye on it as we're going around and just make sure it stays on the roof this time, <laughs> basically. Okay, so what we've got there, that's, um, that's worked much better that time. That's recorded the area of the field at the size that I would have expected it to be. So that's, that's all recorded and set in there now. So when we want to do some work in here now, we can just uh, select at the start, we can select Fanonai Farm and it's a secret field and it'll know that we're coming into this area and we just use the buttons on this side to work out how wide an area we're spreading over or spraying or mowing or whatever we're doing in here that that will then give us nice even passes going over so i think that's it i think that is basically the setup of it obviously as we go forward now and we start doing some work with it um we've, we've got to do we've got to get some seed in because we've got to do a little bit of reseeding here and there so as we're doing that and we, we're starting to do jobs with it, um, we'll do another video showing it actually in use, but that's just the initial setup. So I think probably what we need to do now is go into all of the fields and do that sort of boundary lap of all of the fields so that we can work out the areas that we're, um, that we're actually working on the farm. My first impressions are it's, um, it seems like a really simple system to set up. It's all brand new stuff to me. I, I don't know anything about this before. As I say, great service from, um, from Patchwork when they sent the stuff out to us and it all seems to work and do kind of what I thought it would do. So I'm looking forward to uh, actually getting out and, and using it in anger. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll try and get you along for the next video on that. If you're enjoying what you're seeing with us at the moment with, uh, with the videos, then make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos and you can see what we're getting up to here at Fanonai. Um, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. Uh, but it does mean that you can opt to have notifications when we post a new video so you'll know when we post some new content on. Again, if you're enjoying the videos, give them a like, that'd be great. If there's a video that you want to see and if there's anything you particularly want to see from the farm, then just mention it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can make a video on it. But for the time being, I think we better go in. We need to sort out taking some water out to the cows that are out uh, and a few other little jobs. So we're going to go and crack on with them and we'll see you in the next one. All right, cheers. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.